Welcome to iLecture Online. Our next example is kind of interesting. Notice that we have on the left side x minus 2 and on the right side the square root of x minus 2. And it seems kind of odd that the left side could indeed be equal to the right side. But let's not have any judgment before we actually try it. But we do have to always check to see if the answer is valid. Now since we have the not the so the radical on one side and everything that's not under the, underneath the radical on the other side we can simply take uh, or square both sides so let's go ahead and do that so x minus 2 we're going to square that and we're going to square the right side as well all right on the left side we get x squared minus 4x plus 4 and on the right side we simply get x minus 2 and right away we see that we're going to end up with a quadratic equation we simply have to move everything over to the left side and set it equal to 0. So that gives us x squared minus 4x minus x plus 4 plus 2 equals 0. By moving these two across, the x becomes minus x, the negative 2 becomes a plus 2. Now we combine like terms and we end up with x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. And it looks like we might be able to factor that. So let's give that a try. So obviously we have an x and an x, but the sign, since this is positive and this is negative, they both need to be negative. And it looks like 2 and 3 will add up to 5, and we'll multiply to give us 6. So 2 and 3, notice since they're both negative, a negative 2 times a negative 3 is 6, and a negative 2 plus a negative 3 is a negative 5. So that looks like is it. Now since we have two binomials multiplied together set equal to 0, well, that means either the 1 or the other is 0. So, in other words, x minus 2 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0. That means that x equals 2 or x equals 3. So, it looks like there are two possible answers. Now, we're not sure yet until we check them. We need to check both of these to see what we get. All right, so let's plug in x equals 2. So, that means try x equals 2, and so we're going to replace every x by 2 and see what we get. 2 minus 2 is that equal to question mark the square root of 2 minus 2. So obviously this is 0 equals question mark the square root of 0, and you know that the square root of 0 must be 0, so yes, 0 equals 0, and that checks which means x equals 2 is a valid answer. How about x equals 3? Try x equals 3. And again, we're going to plug in a 3 for every x. So that gives us 3 minus 2 is that question mark equal to the square root of 3 minus 2. On the left side, we get 1. And is that equal to the square root on the right side, which 3 minus 2 is also 1. And yes, the square root of 1 is 1. So 1 equals 1. That checks. Therefore, x equals 3 checks. That means both of those are actually answers or solutions to our original equation. Either x can be 2 or x can be 3. In either case, the left side will equal the right side. We say it will satisfy the equation. And that is how it's done.